Hey guys, and welcome to another installment of You Don't Know Saturdays. And we are going to the ride for this installment. So, let's get down into the ride. Here we go. Fur Trapper or a big game? Nice choice, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Hello, welcome to You Don't Know Jack the Ride. How many people will be playing? One player? Good. Competition only slows down the game. Is this your first time on the ride? Welcome back. We may tease you a lot, but we've got you on the spot. Welcome back. So, tell me, what's your sign? Thanks a lot. Remember to be all you can be. <laughs> Alright, try to think of new forms of animal cruelty while we get things ready here. Okay. Jeez. Oh, it's time for the show where high culture and pop culture. Oh, oh my god. Jack is brought to you by the Association of Lawyers, Loan Sharks, and Animals with Really Big Fangs, preying on the weak and defenseless since the beginning of time. And now, here's your host, Guy Towers! All right, welcome. Here's that big game you've been hunting for. All right, you put on your hunting cap because it's time to go on the prowl. Predators! How much cash we plan for? Buzz in, find out. And for your viewing pleasure, hunting prey deep in the jungles of Nashville. Okay, 3,700 and some change, if you can tell me this. Hey, where do the Nashville predators hunt their prey? Around the diamond, between the end zones, on the ice, or underneath the, the rim? Nashville predators? I don't know the Nashville predators. Shoot! Coming. Score! Okay. That's what I thought. The predators are a new NHL team. I never heard of them. I was soon as I was as I mean, a lot skating. of predators pull the skin of their prey over their shoulders before they try to punch them to death. How much will this one be worth? Hit that button. There you go. Nice job. And we've got... When nursery rhyme predators attack. And away we go. If the big bad wolf wants to make a ham sandwich out of the three little pigs, around what should he wrap two pieces of bread? Their backs, their shoulders, their sides, or their thighs? Hey, look, your score's made of straw. Wow, you huffed and you puffed and you blew on that question. Unlike bacon, spare ribs, sausage, or any other thing called pork, ham comes from the pig's thigh. Nor the wolf's overacting. All right, he buzz in and set the cash value. This baby's gonna be... The Hall and Oats of Fame. Hey, uh, remember that Hall and Oats song, Maneater? Well, if Hall and Oates want to pay tribute to the Native American people whose name means man-eaters, what should they do on stage? Wear mohawks, drive Jeep Cherokees, wrap themselves in Navajo blankets, okay, or eat Eskimo I'm still pies. Okay, i on this one. I have no idea. Should have picked this one. They'll only come out at night. Ooh, Mohawk means man-eaters. But you know, punk hair is on its way out, so it'd be better to get some other minority to misrepresent. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. Bingo. There was a man put out his eye, a rifle was to blame -o. So blame the NRA, yo. Welcome to Rifle. Don't forget, buzz in on the first oh letter of the correct answer to win the shots. cash. You get all oh, five yeah. letters, you, my friend, get the cash. Let's do it. Bugs Bunny is one. Wham it. Oh, that was... Oh. Two under par and golf.
your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Okay. Hit that buzzer and let's see that cash. The category is... You have indeed frightened the excrement out of me. Okay, you know how sometimes when movies are shown in foreign countries, their titles suffer a little in the translation? Which of these creative translations of the title Jaws is most appropriate? Can't stop the mandarins, run from the man-eating madrigals, mandibles of horror, or mandrels on the loose? What? Okay, what? Okay, mandarin is a language. So I can't be it. And uh, this is what we were looking for. The mandible is the lower jawbone. You saw this translation no. work. You know, speaking of bad translations, I once saw the unbearable lightness of being translated as wee. Poke that buzzer. Let's see how much cash you can get. Wow, big oh. bucks on this one. All right, this one's called up. Naked Three Martini Lunch. Hey, uh, you ever play I Never? You know, someone says, I never such and such, and then if you have done such and such, you got a drink? <laughs> well, imagine a bunch of dead writers are sitting around in the hereafter playing I Never. Which of these statements would force William S. Burroughs to drink? I never shot and killed my wife. I never shot myself with a shotgun. Okay. I never I slept with an I'm not, not going to try, I'm not gonna try to answer this one cousin. because there's just too, just too big to risk. It's just too big. Huh, maybe you didn't see this one. Since Burroughs did indeed kill his wife while trying to shoot a glass off her head, he'd have to drink. But you know, taking a drink wouldn't be so bad. I mean, it might help him relax and aim better that would next make time. Sense. Tickle your buzzer and let's see how much cash you're gonna be And your category is... You must be this tall to ride Jeff Goldblum. Questions coming? Because this time period didn't have any dinosaurs, what theme park would leave visitors disappointed? Cretaceous Park, Jurassic Park, Permian Park, or Triassic Park? The Permian era came and went before the dinosaurs' time. Yep. Yep, it was filled with gigantic plants all that would other, do each other's other, hair without uh, mercy. Uh, time period had a uh, dinosaurs. Hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash. Sweet buzzing. Lots of cash on this one. All right, category coming. A little fossil told me. Look out, here it comes. Because it's considered to be the first bird, which of these creatures possibly got the first worm? Archaeopteryx, emu, pterodactyl, or dodo? Well, like the caveman says, an archaeopteryx in the hand is worth two in the prehistoric bush. <laughs> it had feathers, a wishbone, and was putting the fear of God into them worms about 150 million years ago I just during know the all those Jurassic came later, and I think Nemo was even a present bird. All right, smack your buzzer and let's see what dollar value. Oh yeah! Hey, nice what hit, Goldfinger. Heck? All right, Come the category the is. Don't get too cocky. Okay, put away your rooster and imagine this. Since cockfights are illegal, you and your pals decide to stage a cockatrice fight instead. How will the combatants most likely try to kill one Again, another? In a stare down with a display of bold so plumage by mixing magic potions or through one. relentless imitation. And this would be the right answer. A cockatrice is a mythological serpent hatched from a cock's egg, able to kill with its deadly gaze. So, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Be careful with the one-eyed snake. Yikes. All 
right, buzz in and let's see what kind of dough you're playing for. Oh, nice pick. It's time to play Dis or Dad. And this Dis or Dad questions category is the better to eat you with. Okay, I'm going to read off seven items. And for each one, tell me if the person or thing is a fox or a wolf. Okay, this might be easy. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And Let's we're up. Mulder from the X-Files, Fox or Wolf? Blitzer on CNN. Baseball's Nelly. World War II General Rommel. Jake Isles, Goatman. 80s pop singer Samantha. Suckler on Romulus and Rebus. Six right, one wrong, not too shabby. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. How much will this one be worth? Hit that buzzer. Get ready for... My jugular bleeds for you. Hey, uh, you know that Anne Rice book interview with the vampire and how it's written like a, um, uh, like an interview with a vampire? Well, considering the format in which the novel Bram Stoker's Dracula was written, what would be the best subtitle for it? Letters about the vampire, two short plays about the vampire, a comedy about the vampire, or a very long poem about the vampire? Um... I never read Dracula. The correct answer is... Blah! Dracula is an epistolary novel, which means it's told through letters and journals written by the characters. And I'll tell you, that story was so scary, I pretty much epistolaried all over myself. Hit that buzzer and let's see that cash. And the category is... Somewhere over the graveyard. Coming at you. Say the Return of the Living Dead zombies attack the famous travelers of the Yellow Brick Road. Considering what the zombies crave, what would you probably not see? Zombies feasting on Dorothy, zombies devouring the Scarecrow, zombies eating the Tin Man, or zombies chowing on the Cowardly Lion? The zombies wanted brains! <laughs> and uh, the Scarecrow doesn't have any. Yeah. And for dessert, they're going after those yeah. little yummies in the Lollipop Guild. All right, he buzz in and set the cash value. Hey, you know what happens when I run out of plastic wrap? Well, check out this clue. Curses foiled again. Me, I prefer, like, a plastic wrap. I don't know, but, you know, it's a personal thing. Oh, uh, good luck. It's gonna be cartoon. Like, yeah. Oh, I missed it. Okay, it's coming back up. There we go. Yeah. This is basically. This is basically just uh, good and bad guys. Ranger Smith. There he is. Okay. I think we did pretty well on that one. Oh, six out of seven. Yeah, maybe now you can get some friends to play with you. <laughs> Come on.
mean, technically it was five out of seven. This Friday. The home I don't know why I have to do that again. Okay. Have another stylus fix it, for sure. Some damage can be undone. Maybe you could try an Eva Gamer wig. <laughs> Who's Eva Gamer? Welcome, the ride is beginning now. How many contestants are there? Still just One me. player? Great, I'll keep you company. Are you a fr- Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to have you back. <laughs> you should be typing in your name now. Actually, you know what? You type it in for me this time. May I please have your name typed out? Since you won't give me a name, I'll give you a name, maggot. I need to remind you that your buzzer is the letter B. Have a great ride. I've really enjoyed our time together. Bye now. You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Baldi's Hair Restoration. A whole head of hair in about an hour. And now, please welcome your host, Guy Towers. All right, welcome to the game. Ooh, God. You really do need to think about an Ava Gabor wig, my friend. Woo. Ready to play? Because uh, here we go. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. This one will be special today. Wild hair. Hey, uh, take a look at this excerpt from a restaurant review. The salad was disgusting. The lettuce was limp, and I found about a hundred hairs in it. Assuming he sheds the average amount, how long would the chef have needed to prepare this dish? A day, a week, a month, or a year? Week. <laughs> Wow. Um, how about this one? On average, people shed 100 to 150 hairs per day. Wow. You know, wow. this is exactly why I think everyone in society should wear a hairnet and uh, tissue boxes on their feet, like I do. How much cash we playing for? Buzz in. Find out. Oh, sucky, stinko, poo-poo. All right, what do we got here? I'm too sexy for your hairy butt. Here's the question. Suppose this season's hottest fashion show featured hair shirts. What would you see on the runway? Kate Moss doing penance for her sins, Cindy Crawford shearing a sheep, Elizabeth Hurley shooting photographers, or Nikki Taylor spitting up undigested hair? Uh, in case you're wondering... Hair shirts are garments that religious hermits wore to make themselves extremely uncomfortable. But let me tell you, that's nothing compared to some platform heels and a push-up bra, because I, I mean, that's what I hear from the ladies that told me that. Oh. Poke that buzzer, let's see how much cash you can get. The category is... Ripping off Rachel's hair. Okie doke. Hey, you know how Rachel from Friends single-headedly revitalized the shag hairdo? Well, if Rachel from Friends were to demonstrate other meanings of the word shag, which of these would you not see her doing? Chasing fly balls with Joey, having steamy sex with Ross, teaching Phoebe a new dance, or giving Monica a pet deer? Shagging could be dancing, chasing fly balls, or British slang for doing the nasty. But the deer is a stag. Yeah. And come on, none of the friends ever go stag. <laughs> Tickle your buzzer. Let's see how much cash you're going to be playing. Nice, not too shabby. All right, the category on this one is... Most likely to be ashamed of this award. Hey, uh, you remember those silly elections in high school? You know, like most likely to succeed or most likely to get married or, I don't know, most likely to stalk Jennifer Aniston? Well, considering their hair colors, who would be voted most likely to have the fewest hairs at Riverdale High? RG, Betty, Jughead, or Veronica? Okay, I'm gonna let the timer run out. Well, I 
would have picked this one. <laughs> on average, redheads have the fewest number of hairs on their heads. Freak. But, you know, their hairs are reportedly thicker than any other color. So he could drive that jalopy of his without a helmet. Hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash. Heck, there's some cash there. All right, what do we got? Real men use bold hold. Ready, set, here you go. Which of these 80s musical acts had the smallest hair? Bon Jovi, New Kids on the Block, Richard Marks, or Motley Crue? I don't understand what this question's trying to ask. Huh, all the smart people usually pick this one. Compared to these other guys, the new kids were all pretty clean cut. Huh, I guess long hair was the only thing that wasn't manufactured for them. That's interesting. All right, smack your buzzer and let's see what dollar value you can snag. Nice pick. It's time for a diss or dash. This diss or dash category name is Gee, Grandma, what big hair you have. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read off the names of seven things. Oh, oh my goodness. Tell me if we just got the reply. Someone, big, someone covered in hair or someone big no. and hairy. Are you kidding me? I hate these both you ones. In for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get I... wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Now, big hair in the boat. King Kong. Oh, it's full. Godzilla. Okay, I've got it. I've got that. What? Big fun. Three right and four wrong. Not very pretty, my friend. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. All right, buzz in and let's see what kind of dough you're playing for. This baby's gonna be... Train to be a bitch or just act like one. All right, 54, 32, that's some good coin. Let's go. Considering the season in which hair grows the fastest, which season should be the busiest for a modeling school's hair flipping 101 course? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Spring? Now that's when your hair's what? at its horniest. It needs to be scratched the most. <laughs> hair grows the fastest during the summer. And hey, during those inactive months of winter, you can take discreet I places to vomit it was spring. One, you know, to keep that waif look going. All right, you buzz in and set the cash value. Ooh, it's a little roadkill. Smack your buzzer when you see something that connects the two clues. Don't forget to pay attention to those correct answers so you can figure out the bonus question. Okay, let's right, do this. Let's drive. Favorable mention, and stops up a drain. What links these two together? Plug. Blank for apples, and blank cat gold play. Ah. Move from side to side, and work on a loom. I think it's weave. Yep. Please. These might be all different haircuts. I don't know. And comedian Wilson. This. <laughs> okay, I've got no idea. Flip. Okay. Nirvana album and laundry agent. Never mind. Bleach. Okay. Bloomage and Karen Blank. Feather. What does Feather have to do with Tar and Blank? Mock. Okay, that's. Oh. Tease. All right, let's okay, get got no idea. What do all the correct answers have in common? 
Just got Nancy back to the pauses of that one. Get ready for... Activists wear short shorts. Here comes the questione. Suppose Nair promoted a joint product with the organization Nairal. What would ads for Nairal most likely promise you? <laughs> Reproductive freedom and hairless legs, animal rights in a tidy bikini line, no nuclear power and no mustache, or social security and silky smooth armpits. I'm just gonna let the timer run out. I've got no idea. Hey, let's see what a correct answer looks like. NARAL is the National Abortion Rights Action League. Who says that feminism and hairy legs have to go hand in hand, huh? How much will this one be worth? Hit that buzzer. Good picking. All right, what do we got here? You dirty rat's nest. Question, please. Say the guys who rat out the mafia get ratted as punishment. What salon treatment might they receive? A chemical bath, a severe combing, a painful braiding, or cement extensions? Again, I got no idea. It's true. And for those of you interested in the right answer, hair is it's ratted or it's fat combed with rapid strokes to give it volume and shape. Yeah, looky here, see? You rat again and you get the blow dryer, see? Yeah. Oh, brother. How much cash we plan for? Buzz in. Find out. And your category is... Old actors never die. They just get tinted. Questions coming. Suppose cast members of the musical Hair were replaced as often as hair is on a human head. What would the producer most likely tell the new cast members? You won't last six weeks in this town. You'll be waiting tables again in a year. In five years, you'll be washed up. Or you'll be milking this role for decades. Yep, after five years, they'd be looking for a new part. Get it? Hair? Heart? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Hit that buzzer and let's see that cash. Hey, okay, that'll work. All right, here's your category. Looks like Meathead's been washing his back again. Look out, here it comes. Because the actor who played one of his buddies moonlighted as a commercial spokesman for Liquid Plumber, who might Archie Bunker have called for help with his clogged drain? Frank Lorenzo, Stretch Cunningham, George Jefferson, or Barney Hefner? Alan Melvin, who played Barney Hefner, was also the liquid plumber guy in the 70s. You know, he was also Sam the Butcher, so we can assume that he kept Alice's pipes clean, too. <laughs> Whatever that means. Hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash. Um. Check out the roots of this clue. Hairstyles of the odd and famous. Uh, hit your buzzer, rinse, and repeat like in if the necessary. world is. Oh no. Is this going to be one of those ones where it's going to be impossible for me to get? Wow. Hello. Gold chase. Okay. I'll try to get as much cash as I can here, but it won't be too much.
Okay, and I've got no idea for this last one. Man, almost perfect. Well, nobody's perfect, especially you. Okay. I'm surprised I got two high scores in, the, in these games, though. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised that Jack Attack is win as well as it did. Okay, guys. That's gonna be it for this installment of You Don't Know Saturdays. <laughs> Alright. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.